Hey, hello, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Grantha. So, uh, we already discussed about the blaze meter tutorial series. So, we covered the two session of the blaze meter. In today's session, we are going to discuss uh, like how can we uh, create the test and project, and also how can we create the scenario and do the execution in the blaze meter. So, I will show you the demo uh, today uh, regarding that. So, before proceed further. Uh, uh, further if anyone missed the previous video lectures please go on the play, uh, play meter, uh, playlist and if you have any question then you can just go ahead for the uh, uh, comment box and just comment on your uh, question about like whatever you have okay so now i will just uh, show you so that is a one uh, uh, dummy uh, 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 scripts i just developed about the uh, jpt store so whenever we are going to run the uh, test in the blaze meter so first we need to verify uh, we need to validate our script on the gmeter so i just make that script for launch and select the category so i will just run for uh, uh, one user and we'll see it is working fine or not so once it will uh, work fine then we can go ahead for the uh, upload on the script so now we can see the both transitions are working fine so once you will finish that one the next step how can we uh, create the scenario on there so that is already uh, which i just uh, open the blazemeter.com and uh, there you can see uh, the project option so how can we create the project folder so just click on the project click on the create new project okay so once you will click on the new project uh, button here you can see it is asking about the project name and the description so i will just give the uh, demo underscore uh, 9th july okay and description i am just going to mention is the jpet store application as i just mentioned jpet store okay and then create the project okay so once you create the project so project folder inside that i am just going to upload the script so just click on the create new test and uh, now here you can see it is uh, under the folder structure of the demo underscore 9th july and just click on the performance test so once we will click on the performance test so you can see the window will be open like that okay so first i'm just going to upload the script so just click on the upload script and i just mentioned my script on the bin folder of there so i just selected that gmx file and click on the open so once it will upload the file on there so here is the main concern about you can see uh, there is the option is validation status right so that should be changed as the status is passed so now uh, the status will uh, run and now we can see it is on the pass right so after that what the other modification we need to do so here you can see that is by default is taking so that that is the scenario name so i just given like uh, jpet store test okay so that is the uh, name I just given and the bottom you can uh, just configure your load. So I'm just going to run for uh, two user and for the demo purpose, I will just run for one user and ramp up like I just given zero ramp up. So uh, there is one user, so uh, no need to proceed that one. So I just unselect that one. So once you will uh, do all the configuration, so the bottom you can uh, uh, go ahead and so here you can see that is the some load distribution right so here you can select your load generator so because i am just showing you the uh, dummy uh, uh, like without license and all those things so uh, that is uh, not requirement so you can just uh, go ahead on that right so that is the something basic which i just uh, showed you guys okay so once you will uh, make all those activities, you just uh, save that project. So how can we save that scenario? Okay. So here after that, just save the script and all those things. Just here you can see it is a run test, right? So just click on the run test. But before click on the run test, here you can see it, it will send the one report on your email ID. So I just registered with the, my email ID. So uh, once we click on the run test here you can see it, it will give the basic um, brief introduction like the one use one engine two threads and the duration is one minute and here i just want to select 
the option is like send the email to me so whenever the test will uh, complete it will send you the test result on your mail id and just click on the launch server so once you will click on the launch server it will start your execution and you can just click on that show engine okay so here you can see the status it is still on the booting state so from the booting it will change on your download and then it will be make the ready and all those states so we'll just wait for a couple of seconds so the status will change from uh, booting to the ready and all those things to proceed for the uh, final test execution okay so uh, we'll just wait for that and in between like if anyone have any small doubt you can just comment me on the comment box so i will just uh, try to reply uh, your questions and answer as soon as possible and uh, you can just do the practice with the same uh, uh, type of discussion and uh, we'll discuss like if you have any question any concerns regarding that okay so now you can see the status is changed from booting to the downloading so after downloading it will uh, change the status from the ready so here you can see every test execution you will get the one engine id okay and uh, because i selected the jpet store and that is uh, us east uh, i just take that uh, location so whenever you are working on the live project then accordingly uh, your uh, respective project or team will tell like uh, what the location what the lg configuration you can use so now you can see it is changed the status from the uh, ready now okay so after ready it will proceed for your final test execution so let's wait only couple of minutes so uh, sorry for that it is taking little bit time because uh, in the like live recording i'm just going ahead so uh, no issue i will just uh, tell you on the next step like what are the things we need to monitor and what, how we can go ahead with the monitoring activities uh, whenever the test is going to be run on there so, okay so now the our test has been started so here you can see the summary like it is a two users and the average throughput is going on that and that is a summary you can see once we go on the request status right so in the request status you will get that uh, aggregate type of the report right so where you can see your uh, samples average response time 90 response time all those things and now because i ran for one minute so our test is also uh, going to be stopped on there uh, okay so now the test has been stopped uh, in the one minute so that is the overall summary you can see and the error is zero so if suppose there is any error you can go on the error uh, there and you can just extract the information and the log also you can uh, extract so i will just try to show you like if i uh, got that email notification as well on there okay so now you can see the once the test has been stopped right i got the email also on there so which is nothing like here you can see the full summary report and execute to so in the same way like whenever you are preparing the report right so just click on those uh, three dots and here you can see the execute to summary report so once i will click on that and uh, i will just open that execute to summary so here you can see that summary report so which is the more useful whenever you are going to prepare the report and share that uh, uh, information to your uh, team so here you will get the two type of the graphs like uh, timeline graph and the response time so that was something like which i just want to discuss with you guys so if you have any question any concern so just uh, put your comment in the comment box and uh, the next video i will just come with the some uh, like uh, how can we debug yeah whatever the challenges we can face on the blaze meter okay thank you so much thanks to all